Libra, Libra, Libra. How are we? Thank you for clicking on your video. I hope, uh, hope you're well. Hope you're well. Leave a comment below um, if this resonates. Um, any kind words, comment below. Yeah, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it going. Libra, 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 Libra. What does Libra need to see? What does Libra need to see? Interesting, interesting, okay. So, past energies, Libra, for you. Time out, awareness, contemplation, solitude, time alone, 36, nine. So, time out, so I feel like, maybe you've, in the past, um, I feel like you've gone through a time out. Um, we've all been going through a timeout, come to think of it. Um, but I feel like this is given this is giving you Libra some time to contemplate on what's what. So when this card comes forth to be with you for a time, it is your it is your time to consider what you truly think, feel, believe, and know. Having know by having some time alone without humans, <laughs> specifically, there's you know, humans in capital letters as you can never be truly alone. The experience of your life has already given you deep wisdom. It is time to strip away sophistications and contradictions and go right down to the heart and marrow of what it is you have learned in this lifetime so far. And that will be found in the deep quiet of the shoreline. And on no human shore, it could be a great time for you to become quieter, more of a listener to your own thoughts, to observe how to react. What you respond to and discover how you to proclaim your individual soul amongst all that is. If we understand that we are cared for, that we are loved, that we are children of this planet and of the stars, the need for fighting to ensure our survival may no longer take place. We each have a responsibility to, our, to the other, yet we must maintain our own sovereignty. By taking time out alone, you give back to yourself your own voice and vision and can be, begin to develop understanding and compassion for various voices that we have given home to. Yet that may not belong to us. Perhaps explore conducting a ritual to celebrate your alone time. You could try doing what you normally do not do. Take time out from your work, for example. You could make a pact with yourself to not speak for 24 hours from sunset to sunset. Interesting. You must watch the sun rise and fall, walk the shoreline and let no words pass your lips. You may observe, but not write. You must clear and listen once again. You will have thoughts. You must be in nature. <clears throat> you must be reborn. You must have solitude and you must contemplate. <clears throat> okay, Libra. Um, I feel like you've gone through a time of that. I feel like there's been a lot of um, solitude for you guys. Um, not to mention the whole fucking world. But... This is this is this is showing you something, Libra. This is showing you something that you were um, that you weren't fully aware of beforehand. So it's good. Solitude is good. Time out's good. Time alone's good. Um, and then we have the crane bag, sacred ocean medicine, clutter, declutter, choice. So that's thirty-five. It's interesting. It come out after thirty-six. So the crane bag. <clears throat> crane bag holds great healing and energetic power. It may be time to begin to look out for the sacred ingredients, which will make your crane bag sing its magic. Time to go through wardrobes, bags, cupboards, and all those places where you hold objects that may not be empowering and even disempowering you. It is time to clear and consider what it is that aligned you, that aligned with who you are at the soul level. And what it is that actually truly represents actually truly representative of you. Some objects may need to go or be re redistributed and recycled. Everything has beauty and purpose, but some may no long may long may no longer be in energetic alignment. A good match for you and your beautiful soul. You may also feel that some of the other symbols and items may need to be brought in. Begin to see the world as a living crane bag, the people and the creatures and the objects and even your car and home and yes, your bag all hold energy and power 
from your pockets to your purse. Go through everything. Know what you are holding energetically, then shift it, realign it, and feel the ease that comes with this action. Well, wow. it's funny that come out after 36 because I feel like with this solitude, it's brought you some um, understanding of what needs to be let go of and what needs to be held on to. Okay? That's just... That is just, that is just balance. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Divination. Wow. So it's after time out, after time out, after solitude and understanding what needs to be let go of, going through your stuff and decluttering, purging. I call it purging. The great purge. Okay. And then we, that brings us to uh, 15. This comes down to a six. Divination, prophecy, fate, destiny, future, fortune, Libra. Wow. It's crazy. You have know, gone from like a red to a blonde to a brunette. They all have beautiful blue eyes. You could have blue eyes. But divination. So... But to you, the mermaids have come via this card and they say to know, they say to you that you have a gift of seeing possibilities of knowing and feeling it out the fate. And they know that as, that as a fellow mer being, one who has been born of the great sea mother, you too can work with the gift of seeing in many directions at once. It is as if you can stare into water and see the ripples of what could be. The mermaids, the oracles. The mermaids are oracles, symbols of the sea. And you too have the power to connect with the divine. And this power can be activated as you teach yourself the wisdom of the sea. There must be discipline and purpose to, to your movement. Instruction is coming. And they will deliver it through dreams and visions. There will be signs and there will be omens. And the symbols will come to you. You will dream. And while these dreams may be cryptic or a vision may seem to be unrelated to what is currently taking place the universe and the ocean of the consciousness is, and possibilities is calling to you to listen and to hear and read the signs become aware and hear the hear them whisper on the shoreline of the consciousness learn to read an oracle like this one work with your spreads for focus and discipline and conduct readings for friends you have a gift it is time to train and then exercise it with responsibility and beauty wow okay libra this to me is, um, I feel like you're very, very connected. You're very, very powerful. And I, I feel like you hold a lot of wisdom that can be very beneficial to um, to everyone, okay? Um, if you've gone through this time out and this time alone, um, I feel like you're understanding why. You're understanding why. You're seeing what needs to be let go of, what needs to be held on to. You're understanding who you are more and I feel like you're coming into your power a lot lot more Libra with this divination um, a lot of you a lot of you could read tarot a lot of you could be healers um, a lot of you could be life coaches a lot of you could be teachers it's, it's just I feel like you, you're someone that can being Libra you, you are the balance of the scales you know you can you can balance you can balance out yourself very well and you can balance out people very well um, and you have a you have a fucking you have an amazing gift that you need to share with the world okay and I feel like you're understanding this now so Libra thank you um, and yeah thank you thank you don't don't be afraid of who you are do not be afraid of who you are and do not be do not be afraid to scare you, uh, do not be afraid to share your powers with the world because you have great you have great powers and you need to share them okay so, Libra, this one's for you. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Stay real, stay humble, stay blessed. Peace.